Blue Jesus Jesus was the myth of reason Marking off the changing season From the time the wood was green Still hard enough for crucifying But now the wood has dried to bone We've distilled it into methadone now it's Jesus' mind we seek To crucify until it break To resurrect him as a freak Who dared the name of God to speak Jesus spoke All men are broken on this cross of distillation Jesus is jabbed The needle goes in a neuroleptic drug begins to blunt his brain. He spoke again. Give me pain, I won't resist. I'm a homosexual masochist sent by God to make a list of all the faithful folk that has to be saved from Armageddon when stars will be exploding, shedding pestilence and death like rain on those who take my name in vain. He is Christ, I heard the young doctor say but he was quickly led away to a darkened room for throwing fits in, like was done to Sakharov and Solzhenitsyn. It's not him at all, the rest maintain. Schizophrenia is to blame. It's a classic Jesus Christ complex with paranoid side effects. They huddle round Jesus' figure, and to his brain they deliver a massive dose of sedatives. Jesus calls out. Jesus lives in all who suffer from psychosis. Before the narcoleptic dosage neutralizes Jesus' senses. The Prince of Peace. No more cadences. Then there was a miracle. Jesus rose up from the sleeping spell and shouted down the corridors with mental ill behind the doors. Follow me, I can set you free from all this clinical psychiatry. Then he crashed through the doors into the cool night air. But no one followed. No one dared risk destitution and despair. No one wanted to be free. None. That is, except for me. I became his first disciple. I listened as he quoted from his Bible. Every chapter, every verse, it done my head in. I slashed my wrist. And as the purple blood pumped out, my mind was filled with a nagging doubt that Jesus was a fucking phony, full of bullshit, biblical baloney. I think it would be a good idea if Christ was fucked both front and rear by an old hag drunk on beer. We'd get no more aggravation after Christ's ejaculation. And what about his holy sperm? It would surely swim and swarm and maybe even fertilise an egg of myopic size inside the hag's fallopian tube, beyond the fold of clit or pube. Then in nine months... Christ's hag would bear a baby in a manger, but no cunt'll care. <laughs>